Julius Longbane was born in 1851 in northern Schleswig. He studied natural science and philology before fighting as a volunteer in the Franco-Prussian War. He then continued his studies and completed a doctorate in art and archaeology. After failing to restore the severely ill Friedrich Nietzsche to health, Longbane anonymously published this book, which met with great popular success. Longbane's Rembrandt als Erzieher may be considered an early representative of the conservative revolution, since it sought to combat the evils of democratic culture at the turn of the century. Itself established by parvenu cosmopolitan elites that promoted foreign, especially French, artistic fashions, with a return to the natural aristocratic ethos of the strongest element in the German population, the North Germans. His own homeland, Schleswig-Holstein, may be considered the historical center of the lower German lands, since the aristocratic Oldenburg family which reigned there provided kings and queens for the thrones of half the world. From this same source must the rule of modern Germany extend. Only a reversion of Germany to its North German character could effectively neutralize the materialistic, scientific spirit that had begun to disintegrate German culture at the end of the 19th century. The modern Germans should develop a social aristocracy to oppose the increasingly popular movement of social democracy. The better elements of society must always rule the lower, and a social aristocracy will be guaranteed only, quote, if the morally and materially better placed classes of its inhabitants seriously act as the born advocates and guardians of the morally and materially worse placed classes, and if this relationship finds its lasting constitutional expression." End quote. The rabble must be turned into a people by giving them higher wages and landed property. The aristocratic rule of Germany will be represented essentially by the Prussian officer and the Christian, particularly the Catholic, priest. For both belong to naturally aristocratic orders and symbolize the throne and altar. Both these orders rest on the agrarian order of the peasants, whose society, as indicated earlier, is also aristocratically ranked. The martially disciplined hierarchical Prussian must be harnessed for the regeneration of German culture and in turn be enriched or civilized by the humanity of the rest of the German population. An authentic German style was indeed perfected by the outstanding Lower Germans, Shakespeare and Rembrandt, the former through the breadth of his vision and the latter through his depth. Culture should be subjective, organic, and artistic, not rational, objective, mechanical, or materialistic. German culture must be both artistic and warlike, since the latter aspect is necessary to defend the former. However, it should also be Christian, since Germany's traditions are in the main Christian ones. It is interesting to note that, unlike Nietzsche, who considered Christianity as an expression of a slave morality, Longbane considers Christianity as an aristocratic spiritual religion that arose in conflict with the democratic rationalism of the Pharisees of the time. It is through a return to original Christianity that the Germans will be able to recover the original aristocratic spirit that informed their culture when they were not yet Christian. A revival of true Germanic culture, according to Longbane, is of vital importance, not only for Germany, but for the whole of mankind, since the Germans, as the most childlike and vigorous of nations, will be able, through such a revival, to extend their benefits to other nations in much the same way that the Christians once spread their religion. Rembrandt as Educator Written by Julius Longbane Translated and with an introduction by Alexander Jacob Available now